series, the News Nation Inflation Index, where we are tracking the most common products you buy, breaking down the numbers to show you how much prices are fluctuating in the top 10 states hit hardest by inflation over the past year. So here's a look at today's bread, milk, and egg prices. On average, bread nearly $4, milk $4.61, eggs three dollars and 82 cents now compared to a week ago all three items have gone up in price bread up 37 cents this week up 11 percent from a year ago milk is up 30 cents this week and also up 16 percent from last year maryland meantime seeing the biggest increase on milk by two dollars and 60 cents and then finally eggs are up just one cent but they're up 33 percent from a year ago in the meantime, the poultry industry dealing with supply chain issues, rising costs and lasting impacts from the bird flu and passing on those rising costs to, of course, the consumer. And the numbers are shocking. Party wings up 7% from the same time last year. But take a look at other common choices. Chicken breasts cost 73% more chicken thighs are up 75 percent from the same time last year and these numbers are all from the price trackers with the usda and now tyson taking a financial hit after a less than appetizing financial quarter news nation's paul gurky is live and paul how big of an impact does tyson have on the meat industry uh, Tyson's the number one by far and away. And if you want to get a simple sense of just how things are going across the meat processing industry, you don't have to look any further than Tyson Foods, which just released its quarterly earnings report and saw its stock plummet as much as 10% at one point today. Not a great day for them. Our country's largest processor by sales raised chicken prices by more than 20% in just the last fiscal quarter and more or less made the same amount of money as they made last year. You might be wondering, how is that possible? According to Tyson, it's thanks to inflation, demand for higher wages, increased fuel expenses, and the price of feed ingredients, which alone cost the company $145 million more this quarter than they did a year prior. Global poultry prices hit an all-time high in June, which did help keep Tyson's sales totals up, despite volume declining by about 2% in that span. Tyson's chicken unit reported more than $4 billion in sales in the fiscal third quarter, up 25% from a year earlier. But consumers are starting to shy away from premium cuts of meat, bringing down the average sale price in their beef division and hurting the company's bottom line. In total, Tyson reported quarterly sales of $13.5 billion, surpassing expectations, but resulting in a net income of $750 million in Q3. A year prior, it was nearly identical, $750 $49 million. Tyson controls about 20% of the U.S. meat market right now, but a newly approved merger is set to introduce a major new player to that scene. Cargill and Continental Grain has acquired Sanderson Farms for $4.5 billion. Sanderson is a name you might be familiar with. They're publicly traded and the third largest processor in the country. And this new company will lay claim to about 15% of the U.S. market. There are industry experts worried that consolidation will drive prices of meat up even higher in the name of profit growth, which is great news for the chicken company's bottom line and bad news for us. Nicole? Yeah, bad news for the consumer. All right, Paul, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.